Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting video, if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe our channel and to get each and every update, please click on the bell icon. And if you have not watched the previous video, then please watch it. Those will help you to understand this video. In this video, we will see how to integrate Quartz Scheduler. What is Quartz Framework? It is an open source job scheduling framework that let you scheduler a task to run on a predefined date and time and can be integrated within virtually any Java application, from the smallest standalone application to the largest e-commerce system. It can be used to create simple or complex schedules for executing tens, hundreds, or even tens of thousands of jobs, jobs whose tasks are defined as standard Java components that may execute virtually anything you may program them to do. The Quartz Scheduler includes many enterprise class features, such as support for JTA transactions and clustering. It is an open source product from the Terracata company. Quartz Dependency when integrating with Spring need to add Spring context support dependency also, it's a kind of mediator and provides some classes which help to integrate with Quartz. Spring context support dependency. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Server started. See whatever we added till last video, it's working fine. The job is executing automatically in every 5 and 10 seconds. Let's implement using third party Quartz Scheduler. Let's search for Quartz Scheduler Maven dependency. Let's copy this and paste it in Palm XML file. To integrate Quartz we need Spring Context Support Dependency also, let's search for this. Let's copy this and paste it in Palm XML file. To learn about Quartz Scheduler you can refer this website. Let's create separated XML file for Quartz configuration. To make it simple file name should be Spring Quartz XML. Modify this file accordingly. Let's create separate package for Quartz. The class name should be execute using Quartz. Copy run method from execute using bean class. Modify the print message, we'll execute this in every 15 seconds. Let's create a bean for execute using Quartz class. Let's create a bean for method invoking job detail factory bean. And inside that add target object reference and target method.
Let's create a bean for cron trigger factory bean. And inside that add job details reference and cron expression. Need to create one more bean for scheduler factory bean. And inside that add triggers reference. Let's run and see it's working or not. Server started. Oops, not working. We forgot to import Quartz XML file. Let's import newly created file. Let's run again and see it's working or not. Server started. See it's working fine. Let's review whatever changes we added. Scheduler Factory Bean. Factory Bean that creates and configures a Quartz scheduler, manages its life cycle as part of the Spring application context and exposes the scheduler as Bean reference for dependency injection, allows registration of job details, calendars, and triggers, automatically starting the scheduler on initialization and shutting it down on destruction. In scenarios that just require static registration of jobs at startup, there is no need to access the scheduler instance itself in application code. For a dynamic registration of jobs at runtime, use the bean reference to the scheduler factory bean to get direct access to the quartz scheduler, org.quartz.scheduler. This allows you to create new jobs and triggers, and also to control and monitor the entire scheduler. Note that quartz instantiates a new job for each execution. In contrast to Timer which uses a Timer task instance that is shared between repeated executions. Just job detail descriptors are shared. When using persistent jobs, it is strongly recommended to perform all operations on the scheduler within Spring Managed or Plain Jenny A. Transactions, else database locking will not properly work and might even break. See Septity Source Javatic for details. The preferred way to achieve transactional execution is to demarcate declarative transactions at the business facade level, which will automatically apply to scheduler operations performed within those scopes. Alternatively, you may add transactional advice for the scheduler itself, compatible with Quartz 1.8 as well as Quartz 2.0.2.2. As of Spring 4.0, note Quartz 1.x support is deprecated. Please upgrade to Quartz 2.0. Cron Trigger Factory Bean 
a spring factory bean for creating a quartz ground trigger instance supporting bean style usage for trigger configuration. Ground trigger itself is already a Java bean but lacks sensible default. This class uses the spring bean name as job name, the quartz default group, default, as job group, the current time as start time and indefinite repetition, if not specified. This class will also register the trigger with the job name and group of a given job detail. This allows scheduler factory bean to automatically register a trigger for the corresponding job detail, instead of registering the job detail separately. Note this factory bean works against both Quartz1.x and Quartz2.x, in contrast to the older cron trigger bean class. Method invoking job detail factory bean. Factory bean that exposes a job detail object which delegates job execution to a specified, static or non static, method. Avoids the need for implementing a one line quartz job that just invokes an existing service method on a spring managed target bean. Inherits common configuration properties from the method invoker base class, such as target object and target method. Adding support for lookup of the target bean by name through the target bean name property, an alternative to specifying a target object directly, allowing for non-singleton target objects supports both concurrently running jobs and non-currently running jobs through the concurrent property. Jobs created by this method invoking job detail factory bean are by default volatile and durable. According to Quartz terminology, no job details created via this factory bean are not serializable and thus not suitable for persistent job stores. You need to implement your own Quartz job as a thin wrapper for each case where you want a persistent job to delegate to a specific service method. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please click the like button. We will come back shortly with new video. Till the time happy learning.